So now that we have our update user profile available, let's actually use it for something uh, by creating a new page or a new uh, route called profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all go into my user um, <coughs> folder because that's where I want my new route. It's in the user uh, under source app users. And here I'm going to use the normal CLI command, ng, g for generate, c for component, and I'm going to call this user profile. Again, this folder structure is something you have to discuss with whatever team you're working with. I just picked this one for now. I might change it later because at least folder structures are pretty easy to change as we start working with them. So now a new folder here has popped up called user profile, and here we have the TS file, we have the HTML file, and I think the first thing we should do is actually make a route for this new um, profile page by just going into the app module TS file, and here I'm going to add a new path. Let's just grab the user path, uh, and I'm going to call it user, I'm just going to call it profile here. So here we have the profile path now. It's going to use the profile, user profile component, user profile component, and it's going to, let's give it an auth guard, and pretty much you need to log in to see your profile, that makes sense. But anybody can go to the profile page, you don't have to have a specific role for this. So now we have the profile page available, and that should actually be available right now by just adding and running our code. Let's just try and go in there in the course planner, instead of users we'll say slash profile, and hopefully it'll pop up here. User profile works, so now we have the profile page available, now we just need to kind of figure out how we'll manipulate it. And let's just, this lesson as well, just make the user service available for our code for next time. So we'll make a private user service inside the TS file here. And that's going to be the user service that we're going to dependency inject into the system. So now we have the user service available as well. Let's just end this lesson for now. We have a new profile page ready that we can start to use to actually generate forms so we can update our user profile. See you in the next lesson.